Good morning all, welcome back to So Granny So and our fourth day of our Valentine's Day quilt. Today's block is going to be the W for With Love. Um, so you are going to need 28 of your background fabric that is two and a half by two and a half inch square. And you're gonna need 12 of your colored fabric that you are using for the letters. And they are also two and a half by two and a half. So the first things we're gonna do is set these aside and we are going to need four of your background fabric and four of your colored fabrics. We're going to take all of our background fabrics, flip them to the back side and draw your diagonal line from corner to corner. And you will be making four half square triangles. Then we're just going to take our colored fabric, our white fabric stacked on top, nice and lined up. Put a pin on each side of that line far enough away that your presser foot can get through that to sew it. And then you're going to sew right down the center line. And you're going to do that to all four of these. So we'll get that done and then we'll meet you back here. Okay, you can see we have all four of our blocks sewn. So all we did is sew right down that center line there. So now we're just going to take our small square or ruler of any kind. Find that quarter inch mark. And we're just going to lay that right on your square lined up with that seam that we put in it. So your quarter inch is laying right on that seam. Then we're gonna go ahead and trim that down and we're gonna do that to all four of them. Then we're gonna go ahead and take each one, open it up and finger press it towards the dark side. You can use a fingernail or a, with your finger, however you wanna do it. So once we have them all pressed open like that, we're going to take them to the ironing board and we're just going to set down our iron on that uh, and get it to lay nice and flat. We're not going to uh, push the iron back and forth at all. Okay, now that we got them all finger pressed open, I'm going to go ahead and take them to the ironing board and get them all ironed flat. And then I will meet you back here and we'll get our block laid out. We have everything ironed flat here. So now to lay out our block, it's going to be six by six, just all, as all of our other ones have. So we're going to put six in each row and we're going to go down six rows with the top one being white. And both sides and the bottom will be white. Okay, so once we got our outside row laid out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put four down each side of the colored ones. And of course, these the remaining four white ones will go in this spot here. Then our half square triangles will form our our bottom of our W. Just like that. So all we're going to do at this point is sew our rows together. We have three sections. So we'll just flip row one under row two, row three under row four, and row five under row six. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Okay, at this point, we know that we need to put pins all on this side because we put this row on top of this row upside down. So now our right sides are facing together. When we do just all the ordinary blocks, we're just gonna line those up and throw a pin in the size that we're gonna sew on. And then when we have these, we wanna match up the seams when we have those half square triangles. So you're gonna take this seam and this seam and line them up at the end. Then you're gonna line up your, the rest of your square and then you'll go ahead and throw a pin in that. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all pinned up. Now that we have them all pinned, all we're going to do is stack them from the top to the bottom. That way when we sew them, our rows stay together. Okay. 
Okay, so then when we bring them to the machine, we'll just line them up like this and take a quarter inch seam all the way along there. We'll come back, pull the pins out, iron them flat, and then I will meet you back here. So all of our rows are now sewn into three sections on each row. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this row onto that row. And there should be no more seams to line up at this point. So we're just gonna go ahead, line those up and pin them together. And we're gonna do that all the way down. We're gonna sew those together with that quarter inch seam again, come back, iron those open, and then we're just gonna flip that one over and do the same thing to this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done, the rows assembled, and I will meet you back here. We have our rows all sewn together. Um, so do note on the ironing, you do want to iron in opposite directions. So this row goes to the left, this row goes to the right. I'm sure that's opposite at your end. Um, but you just do that all the way down the block. That way when we put it together, our seams will nest. So we're just going to take the first block, flip it upside down on the second block. For those of you that are following along, I know some of this will be repetitive. Um, however, if there's any new people that join in on a video, I want to make sure that they know uh, how we put the rows together. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to nest those seams, line, make sure it's lined up at the top, and then we're going to put a pin in, and we're going to do that to each seam on here. Okay, once we have that one done, then we're just going to do the same with this one. And we're going to do it at each seam again, and then we're going to do the same with the last one. Of course, we'll do all the seams on this one as well. So once we have them all pinned into place, we're going to bring them to the sewing machine and we're going to do a quarter inch seam all the way along there. We'll come back, iron it open, and then we'll join the three pieces together uh, in the same fashion that we did here. So I'll go ahead and I will get this block together, get it all ironed flat, and I will meet you back here. So our block is all sewn together, as you can see. We're going to take our 12 and a half inch ruler and we are going to trim that up. I am going to line up my ruler, my diagonal on my ruler. To go from that point to this bottom point. Once we get that all nicely lined up, then we're just going to go ahead and trim this up on all four sides. So there is our completed W block. The bonus is some of the letters can form other letters, so it also works for an M block. Um, we do have uh, six more blocks to do. And with the I and the T, it's real similar, so we'll probably put those two in the one video. Um, I'm going to take a look and see if we can't get two in each video uh, here on out, other than, you know, like maybe the B. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and work on the rest of these blocks in the upcoming days to get them all knocked out before we can get our quilt together. So do remember that with our blocks, we needed a total of four hearts, two X's, and three O's. So... If you don't have those done and you're following along making the quilt, go ahead and work on those in the meantime. Uh, tomorrow we will be back with the I and the T. As always, guys, if you're following this video useful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we'd love to have you here at Soul Granny. So thanks all. Have a good day. Bye.